is tying a quilt. So when you have a quilt top, there are a few different methods for turning it into a finished quilt. So you have your quilt top, your batting, and your backing fabric. So those three layers are sometimes called the quilt sandwich, and they have to be held together in some way. So commonly, this is done with stitching that is called quilting, and that involves lines or rows of stitching that hold the layers together. And this can be done either by hand or by machine. But another method that you can use to hold those layers together is tying a quilt. To tie a quilt, you would use a large needle and you would use either yarn or often some other kind of thick thread and you would take one or two stitches just in one place through all the layers and then you would knot the ends of that thread securely and then trim it and often you would leave a little tail on that. And you can also use a product like Fray Check to help that knot stay securely in your finished piece. If you have a sewing machine with decorative stitches then you can also use those to be able to tie a quilt. So this is a quilt that I made and it's a gradient nine patch quilt. And for this, I tied it using a sewing machine. So I took this little decorative star stitch and then I just put the quilt into place in my machine. And then I pressed the button and it did one star stitch and stopped. And I just did one stitch in the middle of each of my six inch nine patches. So that is another fun option that is not the traditional way to tie a quilt, but it's something that can be done. So if you wanna see more detail about that quilt, I do have another video that has um, lots of information about that quilt. So traditionally, when we think about quilting, we think of hand quilting as the method that was used to finish quilts. But tying was another common way that was used to uh, hold your layers together. Back in the day, when people had to make quilts to be able to not freeze throughout the winter, tying was the way they could use time efficiently and quickly make the quilts that they would need. So this would have been often used on utility quilts or quilts that would receive a lot of use and their sole purpose was to keep people warm. So because this method is quicker and it was often used in utility quilts, there is sometimes a feeling that tying a quilt is less quality or it's like a substandard product. And even if you're gonna enter your quilt in competition and your quilt is tied, then you might receive negative feedback from that or you could even be refused entry because it's a requirement that your quilt has to be quilted and not tied. But there's nothing wrong with tying your quilt to finish it. And in fact, sometimes there are benefits and reasons why you might wanna do this. When quilts are tied, they are usually softer than quilts that are quilted with stitching, especially those that are heavily machine stitched. So if you don't like the stiffness of quilts that have a lot of machine stitching, then tying could be a really good option. Also, often tying is done with a fluffy a polyester batting. And so this gives it a lot more loft and they're not as flat as some of the cotton battings. So this gives it more squishiness and it also allows it to be held together further apart. So if you see your batting, it will give guidelines for how far apart your lines of quilting or spots of tying have to be. And polyester is usually more sturdy. It doesn't break down the same. So often your stitching or tying can be further apart with polyester than with some cotton battings. So that means you can have a squishy quilt that is only held together in a few places and it doesn't require stitching every couple of inches to hold the batting secure. So if you want a squishy, cuddly quilt, then tying could be the perfect choice for you. So have you ever tied a quilt? Let me know in the comments if you've tried this technique and what you think about it, and I'd love to hear your opinion on this. If you wanna see quilting tutorials and inspiration, you can check out my website, ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.